we come in the name of Jesus and we thank you for the victory of the cross of Calvary. We thank you that our day-to-day -day walk with thee is one of great victory. We thank you that Jesus Christ is alive in us and that greater is he who is in me than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. Now, <clears throat> forgive me coughing. I've had a very difficult couple of weeks overcoming sickness and I'm still having to overcome vertigo and a serious viral and bacterial infection. And there is a reason for this. Now, where's all the excess noise coming from? Let's see who the guilty partner is. Uh, someone's got a lot of excess noise in the background. No, anybody? Yeah, okay, that's all good. Now, let me come to Romans 7. And, yeah, I think we've got some excess noise somewhere. With, can you all go on mute? And then when you want to speak, if you put your hand up, that would be fine, fine, because there's excess noise coming from somewhere. Right, that's 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 all good. I think it's still coming from somewhere. I think we better, I think I better do the muting here. Okay, that's a lot better. Can you all hear me? Just wave if you can hear me. Good, you, you can hear me. Yes. Hang on a second. I've got some additional technical problems here. Um, bear with me just a few moments. Um, the last couple of weeks has been difficult, and I'll explain why. Uh, are you all hearing me now? Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. I want to go to Romans chapter 7. And I trust my testimony and experiences of the last couple of weeks will help everybody. My heart is to be honest and to share with you. I was booked to be at a large conference in Reading, England, over the next couple of days. And I was then seriously struck down with fever, bacterial, viral infections, and became very ill, which is why I was not with you last week. And You're very sorry. It's all right. We, we overcome in the end. And the reason for this is sometimes we can accept invitations and the Lord put a halter on us not that the people I was going to be with was anything wrong with them, anything but the very good people. But like so many organizations in Britain, people cannot afford to pay your expenses. And this is a big difference in Christian ministry than what it used to be a few years ago. If you were invited to speak anywhere, you, we used to get ministry offerings and we used to get ministry expenses. Now, this has changed enormously. The years of the pandemic and the lockdown has ruined the economy of Britain. And even now, we cannot afford in a cold country to heat our property. So I'm sitting here in the cold right now because funding is not coming in like it used to do. And so the Lord was determined that I wouldn't go because he was determined I set forth the vision for the future. Now, for those of us who've been through financial battles and now over the last couple of weeks, sickness battles, there are times the Lord puts a halter on our progress and it is that which has happened. And this halter has meant that I've not been able to go to this quite large conference. And I so much wanted to go. I so much wanted to share my heart, but was not able to do so. It would have cost the, our ministry a thousand pounds to attend this conference. And I so much wanted to go, but the Lord said, no, what you must do is come back to Habakkuk. Now in Habakkuk, in transitional times, which is what this is, because I believe God has called us together 
here in Scotland and you in Kenya and other African countries to come together and build mission houses. Now, I've been writing all of this down under the direction of the Holy Spirit, which is what I could not have done, excuse me, had I gone to this conference. And the Lord was putting a halter on me going, and yes, indeed, use sickness uh, to be able to do that, because as you see from the scriptures, there are occasions God does this. And so I've spent a lot of time battling a very serious sickness, which includes very serious dizziness. I can hardly walk at this time. Hence, I was late in setting up the equipment to have this Zoom call with you. All kinds of technical problems were there. I had to take wires out of here, wires out of there. And I was going dizzy in the process, so couldn't do it quickly. But I was determined to see you today and share the experience not only of me, but of the Apostle Paul, because he went through the same thing. Now, are you all hearing me? Yes. yes. Does this all make sense? Now, Paul, if we look at Romans chapter 7, verse 22 onwards, this is what the Apostle Paul said. And it is exactly my experience. You know, it's in our weakness that we are strong. Let me emphasize that. Because so many pastors and ministers are just speaking what they call a positive confession. But it's a positive confession of the mind. The positive confession must come from Jesus Christ himself through the crucified man who has said, I'm crucified with Christ. I live, yet not I. I live by the faith of the Son of God. And Paul, like us all, battled with the thoughts of his mind. He battled with his emotions, which tried to get him to do things, even apparently for good, rather than being fully led of the Spirit. Paul said this in verse 22. I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Listen to that carefully. I'm speaking this with every passion that you, like me, can be overcomers. To be an overcomer, we must have a battle. To be in an army, we must have a battle. To be more than conquerors, we must have something to be a conqueror over. Do you all understand? Yeah. I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Not after the mind, but after the inward man. Our righteousness is in our inward man. Our mind comes under attack day after day after day. And there's times we need to go through a process to have us moving through the righteousness of God after the inward man. Next verse. This is so important, so interesting. <clears throat> For I see another law in my members. In other words, Paul was recognizing there was a war going in himself. This war is over the flesh and the spirit. Warring, he said, against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Temptation is what Paul is saying. It's constantly with us. And daily we submit ourselves to God. The temptation in my case was to attend this conference where the organizers, <clears throat> frankly, I know their financial circumstances, were not able to pay my expenses from Scotland about a thousand pounds because it's at the other end of the country in England, in the south of England. They could not afford to pay it and it would have put our ministry under tremendous pressure. So the Lord 
indeed placed a halter on me from going and started speaking to me in line with Habakkuk. What is in Habakkuk? It says, stand on our watch. Write the vision. In the appointed time, we shall run with it. And I believe God has called us together powerfully with yourselves in Kenya and in other countries in Africa, like DR Congo, Tanzania, Burundi, and so forth, so that we can preach the gospel, so we can perfect the saints for the work of the ministry, not with the formulas of man, but with the heart of the spirit. The Bible says suffering is for a little while. And sometimes we need to go through the suffering to be able to get fully into the heart and mind of God rather than the mind of the flesh. And here is Paul building up to the famous Romans 8 chapter, talking about the war which was going on in his mind, the battleground between the choice of man and the choice of God. Now, those who've got lions in the background, that they would calm the lions down, that would help. Because there's a lot of background noise coming on at the present time. Please, if you could just deal with that, I would appreciate that. Next verse. Now, listen to this. One of the most famous verses in the Bible. And so important to grasp. This is the Apostle Paul who wrote most of the New Testament. He said this, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? In other words, he recognized there was a day-by-day -day choice between life and death, the choices of man, and that includes all mankind. There's a heck of a noise going on in the background. Whoever has got that noise, if you could just phase it out, I'd appreciate it. But, oh, wretched man that I am, he said, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? This is quite a process. This is a process where I'm just looking to find this noise. I don't know where it's coming from, but I, I, would, I would just... Uh, that's it. I've, I've just muted everybody. If you want to speak, just lift up your hand, either electronically or your natural hand. I want to tell you this. Paul was crucified with Christ. He recognized this battleground going on in his mind. He looked to die day by day to the flesh. Oh, we got that noise again. Let's 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 just please just. Drop that noise. It's very, very uh, off. It's putting me off. Look, let, let's just get into this seriously. Look, I'm battling over sickness here. I'm determined to get this word out. I want you to hear this carefully. We all go through this battleground of the mind. And there is a choice to be made. Today, I'm speaking by my spirit. I'm speaking by my heart. That old wretched man that I am, I, I made a choice of the mind rather than a choice of the spirit. You know, there comes a halter at times to stop us going forward in something we shouldn't be going forward in. And in this case, was was a conference. And not wrong in many respects, but would have had serious consequences had I gone. So I'm grateful to God that he has delivered me from this and got me to write down the vision from Habakkuk. Stand on your watch. Appreciate our enemy is around us all the time to get us to move by our emotions, our feelings, rather than by the Spirit of God. <clears throat> Often, as we might see, for good reason. But I'm telling you, we need to be constantly in touch with the Spirit of God, to move by the Spirit of God, to hear from the Spirit of God, to attend to his words, as the Bible says, which are life unto them that find them, health to all their flesh. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know the greater is he who is in me. And as I move by my spirit, my mortal body starts to come in line. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm telling you now today, the hearing from God yeah, right, brings right. a light to one's spirit. And the spirit then affects the natural mind, the natural body. The Bible says it's the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell within you he shall quicken your mortal body which is happening now i thank god said paul verse 25 of romans 7 through jesus christ our lord so then with the mind i myself serve the lord of god but with the flesh the law of sin it's a matter of having the mind of Christ. And here we enter the famous Romans 8 passage. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. This yes. is what it is. Thank you, brother. This is what it is. And times we go through these battlegrounds and the Lord has his way. And I've been yes. writing vision of mission houses all over Africa, beginning with you yes. in Gatali, having one with my friends in Tanzania of the Ravuba diocese there. Also my friends in uh, uh, Katanga in, in DR Congo. Also, we've had people contact me about this from Burundi. And I'm telling you now today that even though our pockets might be empty of money, even though we are weak, I'm telling you by the power of God, we are strong. And when Amen. we come to the point of recognizing our own defeat, of being to the cross, God raises us up in resurrection power to move mountains, to declare the victory of the Lord. For I'm telling you, we've already invested in a mission house in Sri Lanka where so many are coming and receiving Jesus Christ. So many hits we're getting from our Sri Lanka operation going into the Tamil community, both in India and around the world. I'm telling you, the Mission House Project really works because there you have men and women interceding in the power of God and people come drawn by the spirits and get set free. The law of the spirits of life, verse 2, in Christ Jesus hath made us free from the law of sin and death. By recognizing our defeat like Paul the Apostle did. O oh, wretched man that I am. That wretched man became the more than conqueror who wrote most of the New Testament. For what the law could not do, that it was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. Condemned, condemned sin in the flesh now moving on quickly because i'm not going to be long today but i'm still overcoming this sickness which makes me dizzy and giddy but i'm telling you now today something's bubbling in my spirit something's telling me all is well something's telling me the glory of god is upon this meeting today something is telling me the breakthrough is happening and then i i repeat from habakkuk it says, stand on your watch, write the vision. In the appointed time, you will run with it. The Spirit, yes. verse 16 of Romans 8, beareth witnesses with our spirit that, it, that we are the children of God. And the children, then heirs, heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ. Now listen to this. This is what I'm sharing with you, so important. This sums up the whole message today, which is a short one, but one which is impacting in the Spirit, one which is the sword of the Spirit, not only to bring victory in our life here, in the life of our ministry here, 
but in everybody gathered here today and watching on YouTube and Facebook, that you may have victory too. Hear what it says. If we suffer with him, on the cross he took our sickness and disease. He took our infirmity. He took our iniquity. He took our sin. Him who knew no sin became sin for us. If we suffer with him, that we also be glorified together. And Lord, I receive that glory, not only for me, but everyone gathered here in the mighty name of Jesus, to whom we give all the praise. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone, anyone Amen. want to share anything? These are important things. You can unmute now, everybody. I'll put up with the noise. Uh, I, please share. Please ask questions. I'm telling you, Paul began declaring, wretched man that I am. I'm getting all these battlegrounds coming against my mind. But I'm telling you, I'm moving from my mind to my spirit. From my spirit, my mind becomes renewed. I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost and with fire. I am baptized to go about doing good, healing all oppressed of the devil because God is with me. I am as he is on this earth. I'm one of the branches of the vine. I'm one of the partakers of his divine nature. I'm telling you something to get a hold of me here now. And I pray it on your own that you may be glorified together with Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Anyone want to share? Anyone got a question? Anything? Yeah. Go on, my dear brother. Yes. In my mask, it is. I remember that. <laughs> my mask with the hippopotamus. Yeah, Not my mask. Pastor, Pastor David. Yes. Let me call it from Pastor David. No, not Mohammed. Is a Mohammed. Mohammed. Yes. Yes. Mohammed. But I know the hippopotamus are there anyway. That's all that matters. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, giraffes. <laughs> giraffes, everything you got there, I know. Yes. I we are actually, we thank God for the for the week. He has been with us and uh, yes. he, has us, he has given us power and uh, we yes. keep glory to him. Yes. So we go through some uh, challenges mm -hmm. and so good to us. Yes. Well, I hope that and really helps today. Because I, I believe I'm not the only one who goes through battlegrounds. And yes. I want to share my heart and be honest as much as I can with you all. That yeah. there is that suffering. That if we yes. suffer with him, we become glorified with him. We can then identify with others who are suffering and set them free in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Amen. I have a new friend. You got a new friend? Hippopotamus. Yeah. M D Nakia. Yes, yeah, go he's, on. He's, yeah, he's Bishop Bishop Kirui, Inspector Kirui. Right. Morning and Christ. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Kirui. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, God bless you. Lovely to see thank you, my brother. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Uh, I am Bishop Dr. Joel Kiru. Yes. An inspector of Kenya prisons from Kenya. Your inspector of? Kenya prisons, Kenya. Kenya prisons? Yes, I am, in, I am Bishop Doctor. Oh, well, God I'm bless an, you. I'm also an inspector of Kenya prisons, Kenya. That's lovely. Well done, sir. Yes. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> God bless Thank you. That's you so lovely. Much. Yeah, yeah. James is my friend. Yes, he's my long time friend. Lovely. Yes, he is the one who introduced me to this meeting. I'm so pleased. It's lovely to see you. I'm glad you've come, and and you're yeah. always always welcome. Perhaps one day I can come over and see you. Welcome to Ke Kenya, Mohamed. Uh, Mohamed. Mohamed, but I'll get it right in the end. But you got to take me, both of you, to see them hippopotamus. 
Uh, yeah, you will also you will also speak to the prisoners. I will of course speak with the prisoners. Of course, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. I will make arrange. I will make arrangements. Fun, lovely. And, uh, yes, when you come back, when you come to Kenya, you are free to speak to the prisoners. I'll praise the Lord. I will look forward to doing Amen. that. I've spoken Amen. in yeah. prisons before. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much, and I like uh, this uh, meeting. God I'm glad you. you have. I've looked, my brother, to share my heart, and <laughs> and and you. I really believe that victory comes out <laughs> of our weakness. That when we're Amen. weak, it's when we're strong, and when we're yes. able to admit our weakness, God's glory comes upon us. His anointing Amen. comes upon us. That yoke-destroying anointing comes upon us. And it, then it is all him and none of us. Amen. Uh, thank you. Amen. God bless you. Hello, my sister. I saw a sister there. Burundi, Burundi, we are ready. Is this my brother from Burundi? I think I think this is this is the plate, my dear brother in Burundi. God bless you. Hi, we've got a bad line. I think I can't grasp what you're saying, my brother. No, he's gone. Okay. Well, bless you in Burundi. Uh, God bless you. I oh, you're here. back. Now I know who you are. You're Techno I'm BG61. Finally, I'm finally thank you. And you. Say again. Yeah, Burundi, the network is, is not well. Right. In Burundi, say again. Hello? Hello. Are you there still? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, my dear brother. We're having a bad line, I think. Uh, I think uh, that's a network problem. Yes, I get it. Yeah, I understand that. Well, well, we blast Burundi. Uh, this is, I think this is my brother who's been contacting me by email. And bless oh, yeah. you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. Amen. 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 Paul, what's happening no. now with you? We've not heard much from you today. <laughs> so I, I have to introduce uh, uh, my pastors here in Kitale. Uh -huh, this one here, from here. Hello, my God bless you, my brother. My name is Richard Momani. Let me get, let me have a go. Buredio Bramwani. Richard. <laughs> Lovely to see you, my brother. Thank you. God bless you. Hello, mm -hmm. my sister. I saw you before. Lovely uh, to Linda see you. Happy to see you too. Lovely to see you, my sister. Uh, I'm Linda Demora. Uh huh. And and I hope today, my sister, what I've shared over overcoming battlegrounds really, uh -huh. really helps because I can see you being through real battlegrounds too. And the Lord Amen. loves you. He sees you through. He blesses you. And I thank God for you. And Amen. we do become stronger in him, even <laughs> though we suffer at times. I tell you, I understand. And our love yeah. goes to you, my dear sister. Amen. Lots of love and to you. Hello, my dear brother. Yes, Pastor Michael Juma of La. Aha. I, I can yes. see looking at you. I think this message has meant a lot today because I think a, a, so many of you have suffered greatly. Amen. And God Amen. is going to use you all because you've Amen. suffered with him and he will glorify us all together. I really believe Amen. we're on a major move of God here because I can see by Amen. the faces those who are still suffering, actually. And I hope today's <laughs> message has really helped. Amen. Amen. You laugh, I know, but the joy of the Lord is our strength, brothers and sisters. Amen. Yes. Yeah, this one here is uh, Pastor Olba. Hello, my brother. Yes, Bishop. 
Hello, I'm my... Pastor Oliver. Uh huh. I'm Pastor Oliver. Past Pastor Oliver. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Welcome, Pastor Oliver. It's lovely to see you. Where do you minister, Pastor Oliver? I minister in Gatali here. In Gatali. Very good. I'm looking forward to coming to Gatali. We're going to have great meetings. Happy, happy, very happy. We we are very happy and grateful. And uh -huh. uh, and I would love to get some pictures from you in Gatali and in Momesk, if I got it right, with the hippopotamus, and Burundi, and wherever you come from. If you could email me, uh, ecctv4219gmail.com. Uh, if you could email me, Paul's got my email address, uh, some pictures, that would be lovely. I'll put them online. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, does... I think uh, so David, David, that one will work better. Yes. Yes. What was that, we Paul? Do... Yes. Yeah. We, we have to send you photos. <laughs> Yeah, that would be lovely because yeah. I'll put them. Um, I'm sharing the vision of the mission houses we're going to build in Africa. And yes. my heart yes. is to see uh, initial projects uh, in in uh, Kenya uh, and in DR Congo and in Tanzania. We'll see where the Lord goes in Burundi. I'm very interested in Burundi too. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Recording in progress. Hello? Yes. Is that all good? That is good. Yeah. Well, Father, yes. we thank you for this time together. We thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength and that greater is he who is in us than he that's in the world and that we are called to be overcomers by admitting our weakness, receiving your strength, and moving on in resurrection power, we give you praise and glory. Amen. 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 God bless you all. I'm running along Amen. now. I'm going to my Amen. bed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm going to have a good sleep. <laughs> God bless you. See you next week. It wasn't easy today, but we got through with the Lord's strength. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye for me.